Look at Andy's clock. It is so beautiful. Let's revise what we have learned about the clock last year. The flat surface of the clock is called its face. It has two hands. One hand is short and the other long. The short hand is also called the R hand. It shows the R. The long hand is also called as minute hand. It shows the minutes. Come, now let's revise how to read the time. Let's begin with the whole hour. Look, the hour hand is on 8 and the minute hand is on 12. This means the time is 8 o'clock. We read it as 8 o'clock. We write it as 8 colon 0 0 or as 8 o'clock. Let's do it once again. Look, the hour hand is on 2 and the minute hand is on 12. This means the time is 2 o'clock. We read it as 2 o'clock. We write it as 2 colon 0 0 or as 2 o'clock. Now, let's revise half past. Can you see the hour hand is between 4 and 5 and the minute hand is at 6? This means the time is half past 4. We read it as half past 4. We write it as 4 colon 3 0 or as half past 4. See now, the hour hand is between 6 and 7 and the minute hand is at 6. This means the time is half past 6. We read it as half past 6. We write it as 6 colon 3 0 or as half past 6. It was so easy. Tomorrow we will learn quarter past and quarter to in Alicia's room with her clock.